How are we feeling this lovely Sunday afternoon, Blue Jay fans? We had snow and now we got sunshine. Don't get it. We are less than two weeks away from Blue Jay spring training being done and meaningful baseball beginning. I think we're all ready for it. But as you guys know what we're here for, we're here to break down this past week's Blue Jay games and starting with some news and notes that we wanted to pa- that I wanted to pass along. Joey Votto got into his first spring training game with the Blue Jays today. We'll talk about how he did in a second. However, he left the game after an inning, inning after like rolling his ankle. So we're like, great, can't have nice things. Also, Danny Jansen, fracture, was a fractured f- knuckle? No, wrist, I think it was wrist. It's like, great, dude, his hands are such a pain to deal with. So he's going to be out to start the regular season. So you're going to have Alejandro Kirk and probably, uh, uh, I'm guessing like Brian Servan, I'm guessing, because he's been really good in spring training to this point. I'm guessing that's going to be your 1-2 to start. Um, Still no Alec Manoa. Kevin Gosman's now throwing live BP. He faced Joey Votto. So he'll probably be getting into games at some point here, but he will not be the opening day starter. My guess is that it will be Jose Barrios getting the game one start at the Trop against the Rays. Um... But let's break down this week's games. And speaking of said Rays, that was the team the Blue Jays played on Monday, kicking off the week. And as you can tell, Jays fans, we got the white background going on. Obviously, I mentioned in, I don't I can't remember what video it was, that we started the painting. You could have seen it along the bottom here. And now, full wall. Done. Crazy stuff. And again, look, so we have some things back here. Obviously, championship and championship. That was kind of the mindset right away. Um, but we're going to be getting other things up here, kind of doing a little bit of remodeling. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun to see how that whole thing goes. All right. Now the Jays beat the Rays on Monday, nine, two. So the offense was flowing. Good stuff. Let's break down the offensive numbers. Kevin Biggio. Good to see him out there in spring training two for three, scored a couple runs and walked, got on base three of the four times. Good job for Kevin. Danny Jansen hit a home run. (laughs) Great. Now he's out. Uh, Davis Schneider, two for four, a couple runs scored. He hit a home run as well, so good job for Davis. Nathan Lucas continues his red, red hot spring, two for four, the run scored there. And Ernie Clement, dude has been insane in the spring. He had another home run today. Two for four with three RBIs and a run scored for the big earn. And uh, he does a great job there offensively. Pitching-wise, uh, Mitch White started that game. Well, one great. Uh, Mesa was good, clean inning of work, a hit and a strikeout. Nate Pearson, two innings of work. Allowed one hit and a strikeout and nothing more. Mason Fluhardy went an inning and two-thirds, struck out three guys, and that was it. Hagen Joyner went a clean inning, had a strikeout in that job. So a great, good 9-2 win for the Toronto Blue Jays there. But again, means nothing. 8-1 win over the Yankees on Tuesday. And offensively, what do we get? George Springer going two for three in the ballgame. Bo Bichette, one for three with a couple runs scored. Good stuff. Justin Turner, three for three with a couple RBIs. Dalton Varsho, man, he has had a good spring. Two for three, two RBIs and a run scored for him. Uh, Kirky, another multi-hit game in the spring for him. Two for three with an RBI and a run scored. KK with an RBI, uh, one for three. We're going to keep rolling here, Jays fans. Espinal, God, it just seems rough for him right now. But Jose Barrios got the start and he was awesome. Three and a third, three hits, one run, one, uh, one walk, three Ks. He was great. And out of the main relievers, you didn't see many in this game. After Jose Barrios, got to see Zach Pop going to inning, a lot of couple hits, got a strikeout, nothing more. Connor Cook, who's one of the Jays' top prospects, uh, out of the bullpen, went a clean inning, a lot of hit and a walk, but nothing more, had a strikeout. And that's that's his inning of work complete. Now, we move forward. Jays beat the Pirates. 10-3. The wins are starting to rack up for the Blue Jays now. Offensively, what'd you get? Vladdy with when one for two of the runs scored in a walk, so good job from Vladdy. Uh, Justin Turner went deep, three run shot. Uh, great, great stuff from him. Ha- scored a run, obviously, on the home run. Anything else that jumps out crazy? Nothing spectacular. Chris Bassett got the start, and he was remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Five and a third, three hits, one run, one walk, and nine punch outs. He was outstanding. Trevor Richards in inning and two thirds, allowed a couple hits and a run, a couple strikeouts and a walk. Eric Swanson struggled, two thirds in inning, one hit, a couple walks and a run. Again, who cares? Uh, Hagen Danner went an inning, allowed a couple hits, but struck out the side as well. And you win 10 3 over the Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay, we move on to Thursday, where the Jays beat the Minnesota Twins 5 1. As I mentioned, the wins pile up here. Uh, anything big jump out? Mm-hmm. 
Spencer Horowitz, two for three with a run scored. He's had a rough spring training, though. There's Brian Sturman with another home run. He had a he's having a big spring, hitting 313, but a lot of I think he's like three home runs so far. He's been great. And Bowden Francis. Jays fans, Bowden Francis, without Luke Manoa not being able to pitch right now, Bowden Francis is the guy. Six innings, four hits, one run, it wasn't earned, didn't walk anybody, and struck out two. He was remarkable. And then he had Wes Parsons go out there and go three innings of no-hit ball, walked two, and had a strikeout. So a good stuff from him. And that's it for that game. You went 5-1 over the Minnesota Twins. You lost 9-6 to the Tigers on Friday. And let's break that thing down. Well, George Springer won for th- one for two, but had a home run, two runs scored, and a walk. So he got him base, what is that? Two of the three times came to the dish. So good job from Springer. Uh, Vladdy, two for three with a run, scored four RBIs, and had that massive home run. He's, he's had a ridiculously good spring. Uh, anything else to jump out? Kirky, man. I, it, it's spring training, it means nothing, but... Three for three with an RBI for Alejandro Kirk and going leaving that game hitting 385 in the spring so far, hitting the ball hard, and that's a big thing for him. Ricky Tiedemann got the start, and he wasn't all that great. Two and a third, three hits, two runs, both were earned a strikeout and a walk. And Jimmy Garcia, clean inning in the third, great stuff. Chad Green, a clean inning in the third, a couple strikeouts. Tim Meza, one great. Mason Fluharty, one great. Uh, Hennessy Cabrero, two two scoreless innings, allowed one hit and a couple strikeouts. Nate Pearson. Went an inning, will walk two, had a strikeout, but nothing more. And you, like I said, unfortunately, you lose that game 9-6. Yesterday, against the Yankees, you lose 10-9, but holy smokes, I think you were down, what, 8-1, eight, uh, eight I believe, and they came back, so good on them for that. Who do we got? Uh, a lot of these guys are the minor leaguers who got it done. Stuart Burrow went two for two with a couple runs, scored three RBIs, and hit a home run. Good good stuff from him. Bo went deep. He went one for three with a couple RBIs. Good stuff from Bo. Uh, Dalton Varsho, again, two for two with a run scored. Good stuff. Uh, that's it offensively. 14 hits for the Blue Jays, a lot of spread out. Now, this is why spring training means nothing, Jays fans. You're going up against the lineup for the New York Yankees. What are they like? They're like yeah, LeMayhew, Soto, Volpe, Giancarlo Stanton. Some good names on there. And what do the Jays pitching staff look like? Well, you threw out Paolo Spino. You threw out Brendan Little. You throw out Zach Pop, Brendan Eisert, and Hagen Danner. I mean, you're not looking to win a game. Like that's the whole point of the spring. And Espino won great, Pop won great, Little won great, Eisert was good in inning in the third, a lot of couple hits, but nothing more. And Hagen Danner won great. You lose 10-9. It is what it is. We move on to the next one. And today in the double header, boy, it was some pretty entertaining games. They beat the Minnesota Twins 9-4. And George Springer, two for three with a run scored. His second home run of the spring had three RBIs today. It's good stuff from Georgie. Look at look at the numbers in the spring: a 357 average and a 471 OBP. Again, it means nothing. Bo Bichette, one for three with a run scored. Vladdy went two for three with a run scored. And the thing I like about what Vladdy did today: punching that ball the other way, getting the RBI single out of it. Great stuff from Vlad. Um, Varsho zero for three, unfortunately. Kevin Kiermeyer went two for two with a couple runs scored and two bombs, two solo bombs for KK. So. Congrats to him on that one. Uh, a lot of the offense came late in this game, so it is what it is. We got to see Yariel Rodriguez for the first time. Now, other than the first inning where he allowed a solo shot to Brooks Lee, uh, he was ridiculously good. Went two innings, allowed one hit, one run. Obviously, the solo shot. Walked one, but struck out two. was really good. Mitch White, he won great. Two, three and a third, two hits, three runs, four Ks, walked three. Not good. Nate Pearson went an inning in the third, allowed one hit, and struck out the side. So good on, or I guess he faced four guys. So struck out three in an inning in the third. And uh, Eric Perdino, I got a soft spot for him. Got to talk to him with Blue, on Blue Jay Center a few years back. So congrats to him. Two innings, no no base runners, and struck out two. So good stuff from him. Then, in the other side of the doubleheader, they tied the Philadelphia Phillies 5-5. And the Jays were down, I believe, like 5, was it 5-1 or 4 Ah, whatever. It was around there. But no one's talking about that. Everyone's talking about the first pitch of the ball game to Joey Votto. Is a moonshot to left center field, and it's a home run. Nah, you get a little generous with the home run. Yeah, sure. It's, who cares? It's an extra base hit for Joey Votto, and the first pitch he sees of the spring. And, of course, play the bottom of the first at first base, then left the game after twisting his ankle up. So, ah, this is not good. <laughs> But he tweaks it. They said precautionary, so he's 40, so there's no reason to rush him, but Duke can hit. He hit it off of Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler! 
So again, it's spring training, but holy smokes, Joey Votto doing crazy things already. Now, let's get to the player stats. Ernie Clement went deep again. Like, I'm sorry, Ernie Clement is mashing baseballs in the spring. This is like third or fourth. As it is, hold on, uh, that is his. Let me try and find that because he hit a bomb. Where that's his third home run of the spring for Ernie Clement, a guy who's not known to be a big power hitter, but maybe tapped into something in the off season. Obviously, Joey Votto went one for one. Kirky yet again, one for three with a run scored in RBI. Had a double. So good stuff from him. Vogelbach went two for three in the ball game. Offensively, nothing crazy elsewhere. But pitching wise, Jose Barrio struggled, left the game, and then came back. Four and two thirds, six hits, four runs. Only one was earned, but struck out two. Not great. Trevor Richards, two innings, allowed two hits, a run, and four Ks. Hagan Joyner, uh, two innings, one hit, no more base runners, struck out three. He was awesome in his couple innings of work today for the Toronto Blue Jays. And again, I think him, Connor Cook, Hagan Danner, guys like that are dudes you're going to probably see at some point. In the upcoming season. So very excited to see that stuff. Now Jays fans. We're almost there. Okay. It's a, it's a long way to go. Because spring training at this point. Is like holy crap. Let's get through it. We have less than two weeks away. Until spring training is over. Let me do a little breakdown. Of what I'm going to do here Jays fans. Okay. So. I could do my normal Sunday video. Like I've done every week so far. However. Then I only have one game to talk about. So, my plan of attack is to do a video for you guys on Tuesday, uh, what is that, March 26th, because then I'll be recapping the last bit of spring training games, then the next day, on the 27th, season preview, and then 28th, bang, game one at the Trop. That's my thought process. So, quickly, we'll be recapping on the 26th, the Orioles game on Tuesday, the Braves game on Wednesday. Pirates on Thursday, Red Sox Friday, the doubleheader, uh, Tigers and Orioles on Saturday, Philadelphia on Sunday, and Pirates on Monday. So we'll recap all those games in the next one before we wrap this puppy up. Can't wait to get it rolling, Jays fans. So jacked up. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and are just ready. You're just ready because we are like 10, 11 days away from the season getting going. Hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. You guys not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the upcoming spring training games if you want to talk about those at all. If not, talk about Joey Votto or the upcoming season. Do all that great stuff in the comments below. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you've not done so already. And I will talk to you guys uh, Leafs edition Tuesday as they are in Philly taking on the Flyers. I believe it's 7 o'clock puck drop there. All right. And as for the Raptors, they're, they're on in about an hour and a half tonight. <laughs> Raptors magic in Orlando. We'll see how that goes. And as for the Blue Jays, I'll talk to you guys on March the 26th as we recap the last spring training games of the spring portion of the schedule for the Toronto Blue Jays. Can't wait to get this thing over with. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and are jacked up for baseball. We'll talk to you guys then.